I'm about to hop online to do therapy, just checking in. It's week, I think I'm into week 29 or nearing the end of week 29. Ooh. A great angle. Uh, yeah, today I'm having a bad day. I have bad days and good days, but today is one of those days where I just feel like, it's almost like PMS, so it must be the hormones. It just feels like, ugh, sick and tired and moody and I look like crap and I have a headache. Anyway had good days where I like have been so I've been more social lately I have some friends in town and Nat was here and yeah now I just feel burnt out I guess um that's really it and the gestational diabetes is going fine I just have to walk after every time I eat which I don't do it's really hard to walk I can only walk for 10 minutes so um, that's it I got these really cool, this cool gift from a friend of mine, the Dula deck. This has been fun to read these cards. It's kind of like a deck of, I mean, they're not really tarot cards. They're like mantras and exercises and things to do. So I've liked looking at those. Okay, that's my little check-in week 29. Did I probably missed week 28, I don't remember. <laughs> there we go. Thirty weeks and five days today. Would you say it's the nine week countdown if he comes on time? I'm so hot and I get very tired and it's very heavy. Oh, it's so gross, the belly button. It's very sensitive here. Where? Here where the placenta is and it's like numb. Like I don't even feel my fingers barely. I'll just make you dinner. Yes, I know. Thank you so much. And what are you eating? I mean, Jesus. I think that's too big of a portion, but I'm eating mostly salad with some noodles and peanut sauce. I think that's too much food at once. I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> anyway, that's the update. I'm tired. 7.45 at night. We made two separate dinners. You did, love. When you want it to happen, it doesn't happen. We are feeling... Little baby boy kicking. Just a moment ago, he kicked. It was the first time I made contact. We have like, well, we're like through. It's, there's still the skin, you know? Like I haven't touched him yet, but that's the first time he's like, I get, is that contact, you know? Why did he stop? He always moves. Oh, now. I thought I just felt. At nighttime. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to perform right now. This is the remnants of our beautiful dream home. Our home is completely destroyed. Look at this. Did an ambulance there? Nobody needs an ambulance. No, no. Look at this, beautiful. This is the front of our house right now. Nearly killed all of us in the house. Completely destroyed the front of our house. Two seconds before it happened, and then I went to the dryer. <sighs> what on earth? Mess. So everybody in our house is okay. Stevie was scared to yes. death, but that nearly killed us. Unbelievable. Got uh, the police here taking the vehicle away. So we got the uh, fire department here. Okay, well, we found our way to an Airbnb in the morning and working kitchen without a car in it and we're just eating breakfast mike's going to work we're waiting for stevie to get dropped off because she was at her uncle and auntie's because there was too much debris in the house for her to stay there what do you think now of everything of what our lives yeah things are really crazy in the world right now yeah i know and war and all it's just but the last week was like really difficult i mean it was Stevie getting sick, mm -hmm. you know, in the middle of the night, and then again a day later, we thought, you know, it looked like she was dying. Obviously, the crash, the car coming through the front window, which is like traumatic more, it's, it's more like traumatic now that we're coming down off of the adrenaline of it all. Yeah. Just thinking like how close that was to just being mm -hmm. devastating beyond words. 
There's hardly anything on Airbnb to rent, actually. And Timmy's coming this week, so we needed a second bedroom. All right, we're in week 33. Ooh. And what week are you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm in my third trimester. <laughs> I'm in my third trimester. Timmy came to LA for like a couple days to visit to before I give birth, I guess, right? I really did. I was like, let me squeeze in one trip. Still before, mobile. Before the booger comes out and takes over your world. Yeah, and while I'm still mobile. So we're um, we're actually here for a donut tasting because we had to schedule in a donut tasting on a Thursday at Holy Grail Donuts. And we're gonna have some donuts and I don't know, you're staying at our house. We're in an Airbnb, so I think I told you we had to relocate because the car crash. The car um, and so we're at an Airbnb now, and then we're going moving to another Airbnb on Sunday that we just got today. We're so going to go to Air One. We're going to go to Air One today. And it's oh, a look. beautiful day. It's so beautiful. We're just puttering around eating food. Yeah, as usual. I'm in another Airbnb. We're at the other one for about a week. Just got everything moved in here. It's, it is nice. Mike's going back and forth to move stuff from the old um, house. And we're here till maybe the end of May. Oof. So baby's gonna come here. Gotta build the crib here. That's the update for now, I guess. I'm so tired, I gotta go to sleep. Joshua tree. This was kind of the baby moon, right? Mm -hmm. Take a little vacation before you have your baby. We came with our friends to this awesome house and it was really nice. I actually don't want to leave the desert. I like it. If I was real like hippie do, I'd just have my baby in the desert on the sand. <laughs> I would never do that. The car seat's ready to go now. Figured out it, how to keep it locked. The dog is ready to go. <laughs> it's really hot out, so she's hiding. Stevie! Stevie, yeah. You ready for the car seat? There's gonna be a baby there. Are you excited? We just passed one day from a month away. March, April 17th is the due date, so yesterday was March 17th. Come on, baby. So I don't want him to come early. Just come on time. There's too much to do still. If you come from Carmel, it could also be joyous, triumphant, challenging, changing, life giving, not just for the baby, but for the parents as well. What are you making, love? Jesus. In this new kitchen. Okay, so have you? are you able to adapt to this kitchen? Well, I pretty much brought everything from the house like that I could, like ingredients and the cupboards and stuff, mm -hmm. all the spices. So Lately, like, the, the accident has been... Yeah, the car accident of the car driving through the house affects me more than I realized or was willing to admit because I don't want to be a complainer. I don't want to play the victim. Yeah, I don't want to be a victim. So I just didn't want to, like you know, get into the whole lawyer suing thing. And like, it could always be worse. So, but as the days went on following the accident, I was, you know, stressed and I would get angry and angrier, mainly because it's like something, cons it's so easy, everything feels so out of control already being pregnant. Then something like that happens. So it's very out of your control. You're like, wait, I was just living my life trying to like set up my house for my new baby and a car like crashed through the wall. Like, it's just stupid. Yeah, so I, I was getting more mad as the days went on from the accident. Like, the first day that it happened, I was, like, kind of laughing about it because it's like, oh, my God, this is so ridiculous. But then, yeah, someone does something stupid, uproots, upsets your whole life. Like, you have to uproot everything and take care of it all yourself. Like, nobody helps you because insurance doesn't really kick in until, like, later on, and then they might reimburse us. Or In this case, we're going after them with a lawyer, so it's, like, might not get money for, like, a year or something. So, I don't know. I just, like... I've been upset more than normal and like more 
depressed and anxious. I think third trimester, that's normal, but then like to have something like this happen makes it even worse. And like, I don't know, if it doesn't make me excited to like have the baby and then bring them to this like weird temporary home, but like whatever, I have to do it. Like I have to just suck it up and be fine with it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We were nesting at the, you were preparing to- Yeah, we rented that other house specifically for having a family and like bringing a baby there. I mean, he's not gonna know the difference. It kind of sucks because now this is like part of his story. It's like, before I was born, my parents had a car crash into their house. And then like, it's like, that's a, that's a stupid story. Well, no, I mean, it's not, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. It's a cool story. He, he was technically there for it. Like he was. I know, but it's a dumb, like, it's dumb. Like, it's like sad and upset. All right, Mike is building the mini crib. I'm putting together the diaper genie, which I think it's done. <laughs> so I have to put the bags in there. And Stevie. And Stevie's. Stevie. Stevie's making sure that no intruders are in the yard. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yep. eating poisonous berries. Eating poison berries on the wall. They're not They're poison. They're not poison, she's been eating them, it's fine. Look at that, this is the mini crib. This is a mobile that my friend gave me from her baby. It has bunnies with carrots. And this is a lovely generic painting in the Airbnb that we will be staying in. I hate this. Why do people do this? How am I supposed to get this off? It's all sticky. How are you feeling, honey? There's like three weeks left, you know. I don't feel good. I'm tired. I just want to sleep all day. You look haggard. I'm not going to lie. I don't, I don't mean... think I look haggard. You look a bit haggard, babe. Well, I did nap and just woke up and then made you dinner. So. Did you have any of that dinner? Yeah, but I didn't really want to. All I want to eat is grapefruit. <laughs> Mikey's gotten you some nice grapefruit. Yeah, for the last like week, that's all I wanted to eat. The last week, all you wanted to eat was what? Grapefruit. You love that grapefruit, don't you? Yeah, I don't get it. Before it was oranges, but now I find them too sweet. I just want the sour. Do you want me to go get you some sour kids? No, I can't eat those. Why? So I can't eat candy. Oh, because of your, your diabetes. The grapefruit seems to be fine. I don't seem to get a spike. Though. Are you as excited as you thought you'd be? Or are you just tired and want this pregnancy over? I honestly don't know what I feel or think. That's been the hardest part about this whole thing. I feel like I have no personality. <laughs> I have no thoughts about anything. I'm just like, do I, like I kind of like want to stay pregnant because I don't want to have a baby here, but then I don't, I don't want to be pregnant because it's so uncomfortable. I don't know. Where's the baby's bum bum? Well, it moved. I thought it was right here. So, it's week 37 in a few days, and the baby is large and in charge. They're saying he'll be maybe nine pounds, on delivery date and that's a bit big they could have an error on either end so today we talked about the option of just scheduling a c-section but we won't really make that decision for another week and a half when i go back for my next appointment because i have like a ultrasound where they're going to measure him like more detailed and yeah i've just been thinking about it and i think maybe a c-section is like easier all around like i don't really care about actually delivering vaginally it might be just like less traumatic for me. We'll know when it's happening. The baby comes out. I have an extra day in the hospital, no big deal. From a couple women I've talked to, they had C-sections. They said they don't regret it. It's much easier. And what would be worse is like trying to deliver and then running into an emergency or, you know, doing it part way through. It's like, well, then I did all that contractions and everything for nothing. This way I don't even have to deal with that. I just go right to the operating table. I'm kind of having a deja vu right now. So I feel like maybe <laughs> I know my answer, but I'm still gonna wait till April 8th to decide once I have that measurement ultrasound. So that's where we're at. It is, yeah, still uncomfortable, but, oh, he's moving. See it on camera. 
Anyways, that's the update for now. Stevie! Where's Stevie? <laughs> you ready for your brother? She doesn't care. She has no clue what's going on. Everyone's like, Stevie must know something's going on, but she does not care. All right, we are um, getting down to the wire here. I think I'm 38 weeks. We're just at the very beginning of 38 weeks. And of course, we're all sick. Mike got sick April 1st. What seems like COVID, but <clears throat> these tests aren't picking it up. So it says negative three or four times. We did one. And now I've got this chest cough. So, but no fever. I'm just trying to catch it with some homeopathic stuff and ginger and so kind of a nightmare i was like coughing so much this morning that like i almost puked and if i puke then that could induce labor so i gotta try to be better so i can go to the doctor on wednesday and friday at least we'll get sick before the baby comes and the baby won't get sick yeah it burns down there that's the update at 38 weeks baby soon <laughs> lauren toyota is getting over her flu flu and the boo-boo is ready to come. Yeah, I'm feeling like, because I'm 39 weeks, like tomorrow maybe, it's starting to feel like he's right down there. And like It's like ready to... He's planning his escape. Yeah, but now I've made this decision to get the C-section on Friday. So in, in six days, I don't want him to come now naturally because now I've wrapped my head around him having a C-section. Planned, organized, no labor. But you can't be so attached to any of this. It doesn't. These online classes are like torture. Am I the only one that thinks this? Remember when you get to see it? This is your beautiful mom. Look at her and her gorgeous dress. It's not a dress, it's a onesie. What's the difference? A dress doesn't have pants. Oh, it's a onesie. Oh, I see. I thought it was just a long dress. But your mom has what, what we call a bit of a B.O. problem. <laughs> 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 but she's still the cutest. She's the cutest. Today is Monday and you're coming out Friday via a cut in my abdomen. You're moving around right now. Isn't this weird? This will be tricky for him to watch later. I know. You Oh, ow, you're hurting me. Ow. <laughs> it just gets, at, later in the day, it gets really hurt. Ow. What's he doing? I don't know. When, he, when you move around in there, it goes into my bladder and it hurts. Like a pinch. We've got some footage of him. Uh, it looks like your stomach's like alien. Yeah. At the beach from the other day. There's your dad feeding the dog. Hello. There he is. Your mom doesn't film me because I don't look good on camera. She's ashamed of my baldness. She's ashamed that I'm getting fat here. No. Look at that. <laughs> it's called a dad bod. Yeah, and I don't want one. Well, you're a dad, so... And I guess I'm gonna officially, as of Friday, I will officially have a dad bod. Right now, I just have you a You already bod. had a dad bod. No, but I, you can't have a dad bod unless you're a dad. No, here's the dinner. There's you. There's Steven, Stevie, your best friend. Stevie loves kids. Stevie, the best friend. Where are you, little rabbit? It's the last um, appointment before the C-section in two days. So we're just waiting for the doctor and he's gonna go over everything for us. And you're here for the first time in the whole, in all the appointments. Mm hmm To ask you questions. This is it, the night before? What time is it? I don't know, what time is it? Like 9.45 or something? How come you don't like looking at the clock? Oh. <laughs> and when's the C-section? It's 
9.40. Oh, in, tw in 12 hours. 9.45 tomorrow. Is that 12 hours? 9.45 tomorrow is what? A.M. is the C-section. So wait, how many days are we in the hospital? Three. So I'm packing, we're packing food, snacks. Do we have diapers? Yeah. Big J, baby. What happens today? I get major surgery to deliver the baby. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. Mikey's going to have a nap at around 9.45 at the hospital. Hopefully the beds are comfy. He will probably pass out from fainting. Oh, God, I hope not. You ready for this little bun bun? I guess. I don't know. I feel fine. I don't feel nervous. I think it would be way worse if you were in labor. Yeah. This is like calm and like yeah. just showing up for a surgery. Everyone's nice. Yes. What are you doing, Rabbit? Just waiting or delayed. Okay, baby? <laughs> nice big breath, in and out. Oh. Lots of pressure. You okay? Yeah, it's just pressure. You're okay. Yeah. Is he okay? Um, He's alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi. Okay, <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh my god. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Yeah! <laughs> oh, buddy. Okay. Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. Right here, buddy. Okay, let's show mama. Oh my god, what's happening? You guys, I'm holding him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not giving him. Okay. I'm holding him. Let me give him a little Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say hi, mommy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.